Um, <laughs> so up next, we have the Center for Art and Wood. We have Katie, and she's going to be showing us something really cool. Awesome. Thank you, Shannon. Hey, all. I'm Katie from the Center for Art and Wood. Um, good morning and welcome. Um, today, we're going to be doing wooden uh, clothespin butterflies or dragonflies, whichever you prefer. So um, I have a couple samples here. So this is what we'll be making. A little happy little butterfly here. So if you're making a butterfly, you're gonna take um, your packet here, which is the Center for Art and Wood packet. Um, open that up, take your craft sticks. Um, so I'm gonna make um, a dragonfly. So if I'm making a dragonfly, we want the wings to be a little bit closer together like this. If you're doing a butterfly, make them wider like that. So take your craft sticks and these are, um, this is craft glue dots. So you're gonna lift off the cellophane um, and take one of those dots and place it in the center of one of your craft sticks like so and then lift off the cellophane and it should be, can you see that? Stuck on there in the middle. Take your other craft stick and place that on top of that. Gonna add a little bit of pressure so that, that you actually have it stick together. And um, this seems to work really well. We usually do Elmer's glue, but this is a lot faster. So you can go ahead and start decorating your wings. We have a little packet of crayons, but you can use um, colored pencils, markers, paint, whatever you have laying around the house. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do some quick designs on here. Okay, so we've got our wings with um, a little bit of design on there. You're gonna take your clothespin next. Um, be careful not to pinch yourself with it. <laughs> um, we're gonna use our, um, one of our crayons to make a little face on it because we want them to be happy butterflies and dragonflies. So um, where you wanna draw the face is right here at the end where it opens up like an alligator. So I'm gonna do some eyes and a happy little smile. And let's give it a nose too, because we want it to breathe fresh air. Okay, so I've got my little face there. And then we're gonna take our next little uh, crafting glue dot and we're gonna place that right above the head above the little metal thing right there. Okay, so now I've got my little blue dot there and we're gonna gently press the wings onto the body of your butterfly or dragonfly. Gonna wanna give it a little bit of pressure, not too hard though, you don't wanna hurt it. Okay. So I've got my little dragonfly here, but what we want to do is be able to put this on our refrigerator or file cabinet so you can put your homework or coloring pages in there, like so, so that everybody can see it. Oh, I can see your dragonfly right there. So we have a magnet in there so that you can put this on your refrigerator. So just peel off the strip and it has some adhesive there. And I recommend putting it pretty much in the center of the back of your dragonfly or butterfly, like so. And you wanna give it a little pressure again. Be careful not to break your wings. We want your, your dragonflies and butterflies to be able to fly still. Okay, so there we go. And it's ready for your uh, refrigerator or file cabinet. So I hope you guys have fun and let your creativity fly. Come visit us at the Center for Art and Wood. We're open today, noon till five. Um, and uh, stop by and see us. All right, thanks guys. Have a great afternoon, bye. That was awesome, Katie. All my laundry is gonna be smiling back at me from now on.